Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and this is part four of my class cra class craft tutorial. And um, I'm going to show you how to add content, um, learning content to your uh, classroom. Um, and the way it works is you have sections and then assignments within that section. So let's talk about adding a section. If I add a section, it's like adding a block of instruction. Um, maybe you're working on something for a couple of weeks in class and most of those assignments are related. We can add a section to our classroom content. So let's say the section would be something like, ooh, I don't know. Um, we are learning fractions or whatever, right? And what I like to do with the with the description is I like to give uh, a a nice little narrative kind of uh, more of a fantasy type feel to the game. So you know you wake up in a dark room. The only light comes from a flickering candle you see a dusty book open to a random page symbols swirl around and dance before your eyes letters and numbers together. How do I make sense of this? You know, something like that, right? And actually, I'd probably be work more for algebra. Okay, and then you would add, and you can add a new section here. So it would pop up down here. Um, one more thing about this, uh, if you want to make a new, let's say you want to bring in a section that you've already written, you can bring in a new section just by going to import and it will add, it, it'll give you a menu of all the sections that you've already created. Um, you can also turn off sections so that they're not visible to the students, they're only visible to you whenever you want to see them. So in here, I've got my algebra section. Now I can start adding assignments. I can add a post. Now in here, I can put the name of the assignment, chapter two, and I can put a description, you know, uh, complete the exercises in chapter two. Um, and then I write the assignment here. You know, I can put whatever I want. I can write a description. I can also add um, images. I can drop a f uh, an image in there to add an image to the content. I can insert videos by grabbing the embed links from YouTube to insert videos as well. Another thing that I learned is, let's say you have a PowerPoint slide, um, a PowerPoint presentation or a, a Google Slides presentation. Let me open up my slides. Um, I just figured this out the other day, so I figured I'd share it with you. So um, let's say we have, you know, so my validating sources slideshow um, on Google Slides, I can publish, oh, I can publish that to the web and it will give me my embed link, which I can then copy. If I put that in Classcraft, if I go to insert video and I put the embed link in there, it actually embeds the slides for me. So it, I know it says embed video, but you can also embed PowerPoint or uh, Google Slides presentations as well. Um, you can add files or files from Google Drive or OneDrive. You can add links and stuff like that. So that's how you add class content. Down here, you can give them rewards just for, just for viewing uh, the content. You can put uh, enable contents so that students can, or comments so that students can make comments on your videos or on your uh, uh, uh assignments you can add tags so that when they're searching for assignments they pop up if you put rel uh, related keywords and then in assignment you can enable the assignment uh, turn this into an assignment as opposed to just a um, just a post set a due date here and a time 
you can set the amount of XP they get for turning it in on time and the amount of XP the team gets if the whole team turns it in on time. And then you can click save and it will create a new thing. Now with that new thing, when you click on it, it will open up the assignment and you can go ahead and manage or teach in class. You know, I can make this full screen and I can use this to teach and go through and blah, 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 right? Um, so this is, uh, this is a pretty awesome way to manage content and kind of organize it. Um, even if you, ev again, even if your students don't have computers in class, you can use this to manage all the content in class and they can go online and they can see what assignments are due when, um, and then they can complete those assignments at home. So that's how you manage class content. That's how you create class content. Um, and so the next video, oh, hey, Volmer wants to play video games with me. Anyway, uh, the next video, I'm going to uh, show you uh, how to create boss battles. And that should be the last bit video in this series. Thanks for watching.